I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a guitar shaped side table. My plan for this project is to cut a tabletop that's shaped like a Stratocaster guitar out of three quarter inch walnut. And it's going to be a little bit bigger than a standard size guitar body. And then I'm going to cut three guitar neck shaped legs out of maple and I'm going to attach them to the tabletop using mortise and tenon joints. And then I think I've got a unique way that I'm going to attach the legs at the bottom to give them some extra support. So we'll see how that works out. To get started, I'm going to cut a smaller section off of this maple board to use for the three table legs. And then I'm going to cut two roughly two foot long sections of this walnut that I can glue together into a panel to make a blank for the tabletop. got the blanks prepared so let's go take a closer look at my design for this side table. I'd like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this video. I use their easel software to import guitar body and neck shape images then resize them how I wanted. I rotated the neck at a slight angle then combined it with a rectangle on the end for a tenon. I flipped the guitar body image backwards and added three mortises based on the length of the tenon and the thickness of the leg stock. I set a shallow depth of cut so that it would not cut through the top. I just need to remember to put my blank for the top face down when I go to cut it out. Let's head over to the X-Carve and cut out the parts. This project consists of two separate cutting jobs. First I'm going to cut out the top and then the second job is for the three legs. I'll put a link to open this easel project in the video description below if you'd like to check it out. I will also include a referral link to the Inventables website if you would like to shop for an X-Carve. Using that link to make a purchase will help to support my channel via a referral fee from Inventables without affecting your purchase price. Thanks for supporting me and my sponsors. Alright, the X-Carve made pretty quick work of cutting these out. It took about an hour and a half, and that gave me time to check Instagram to see what everybody else out there is making. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use my trim router uh, to put an eighth inch round over on both sides of the tabletop. And on the next, uh, the CNC bit leaves rounded corners uh, for the tenons. So I'm just going to sharpen those up with my bandsaw, and then I'm going to give everything a good final sanding. You may have noticed that I made one hole larger on each of these scaled down necks. That's so that I can mount a standard size tuning peg on each one, then string up a guitar string between the three legs to keep the legs from wanting to spread apart. I guess you could call it a guitar string stringer. And one thing to note is that I had to plane the maple down to about 9 16 of an inch thick in order for these to fit. And that also dictated how wide the tenons and mortises needed to be in the tabletop. Now I just need to glue it together, spray it with lacquer, and attach the tuners and the stringer and finish it up.
Thanks again to Adventables for sponsoring this project. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, subscribe and click that notification bell to catch all my future projects. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.